All right, people, I didn't know if I was going to do a video about this, but I'm so excited that I'm going to have to. This is a snare. Look at what a beautiful. Can you get it out? You have to be always behind the camera. Okay? Can I show it? Wow, look at the texture. This version is a B version because it has a mesh that is supposed to be more realistic. It's supposed to be more realistic feeling, so... So I can't believe that I'm actually able to buy a drum set. It's been my childhood dream, you know? It's like a... I try many different music instruments, like a... Like a keyboard when I was a kid, then I tried guitars. I tried so many different things and I, I suck. I completely suck at all of them, man. I always think that if I play an instrument, I have to be able to express it physically as well. And I think that drums is the closest thing to a physical exercise plus music. So, so yeah, I mean, this is going to be a, hopefully a journey that my kids are going to come with me. And we want to shoot the evolution of our drums skills. Hopefully my wife will join, but I don't know. But man, we're doing this. And the goal, the long-term goal, is to have a band called whatever they want to call it, like the Rainbow Tree or the Rainbow Four, if Mama wants to join because she's good with the keyboard. But at least we're into something now. This has to be a new bird of this house. It's gonna be a creative space. It has to be a creative space, not just you know a house, but by itself. You have to create stuff here. I was forgetting about this, this is very important. Props to Angelo because he actually gave me his his seat from his drum set because uh, he couldn't get one, at, like a cheap one. So he gave me his one and he said he was gonna get another one for himself later on. So, so man, thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's not brand new but I don't care. I just want somewhere to sit, you know. So thank you Angelo, he's a musician, check out his band, he's a Nativo Soul, so they play reggae, I don't know nothing about reggae, but they're cool. That's called the amplificator, it's too, the, like if you play the drum, because it's a, an electric drum, no acoustic, it doesn't actually make any sound, so you have to connect it to this speaker, and then the sound comes from here. So, so guys. For me, I don't have a favorite drummer. Uh, I can't cannot say that my favorite drummer is the guy from Guns N' Roses, Matt Sorum, because I actually like the original drummer. Uh, I don't remember his name, but uh, Adler, Steve Adler. He was actually better, if you ask me, but you know he got problem with heroin and alcoholism, so he got kicked out after the first album. Uh, I like him much better because he gave Guns N' Roses this kind of more punk, punk feeling, you know. And Masurum was more like a, like a machine man. He's a Terminator, like he's so consistent, you know. I guess I guess Guns N' Roses needed Masurum to evolve as musicians, you know. But I gotta say, the drummer from Led Zeppelin, that guy is a freaking storm. You gotta watch him play. Like listen to the drums in Led Zeppelin. He's like a. His disturbed mind expressed on the way he plays the drums. He's so chaotic, you know? So I guess he's gonna be my inspiration to begin with because I'm using playing the drums as a stress release, you know? Hitting shit is cool, man. It's like, you relaxing. So here we go. Led Zeppelin. That's gonna be the first song I wanna learn. I tried to learn November Rain on my wife's keyboard, but. No, it, it didn't work that well. I couldn't even make it to an amazing grade. So I played ting 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 ting, but it never really took off from there. So drums, baby, drums. Oh, it's mine. I put it all. Let's do this one. So my kids are helping me open the presents. I mean, the box, which feels like a present from Christmas. But uh, I was gonna say, I was checking eBay and Gumtree for a while, looking for a second hand drum set. And now that I'm opening it up, I'm glad that I didn't bought a second hand drum set because 
an instrument is a, something so personal, you know, that you touch, that you enjoy, almost sexually. That if somebody else played with it before, it's not the same. I don't know how to explain it, but that's how I feel. But I'm crazy, so I think I'm entitled to feel like that. So I'm so happy that this is a brand new drum set and it's never been played before. Uh, so. So I'm so excited that I don't really want to unwrap this, but I have to do it, otherwise I won't be able to play. And it's getting dark, it's getting dark quickly. Alright, right, people, this is the brain. This is the brain of the drum set. Look how little it is. Everything comes from here. The people from Roland recorded real drum sets, and they kind of replicate that sounds when you play, so what you're actually hearing, every time you hit the drum or the whatever it's called, what you're actually hearing is a real recording. A real human being, probably a very skilled human being, play each one by itself in the most perfect acoustic studio and they record how it sounds. So every time you play, a little bit of the soul of that person, whoever it is, or different people will always remain reproduced by this little computer, man. Yeah. Another reason to keep believing that we live in the Matrix, so it's all right. We just have to be crazy here. All right, look at all the parts we need to build. This is like a like a huge endeavor, and I really, really want to do it as perfect as possible, so I don't have to redo it ever again. So. Here we go. I guess the journey of a drummer starts with building your drum set. Let's do this. You want to play on the drums? It sounds very cool. Can I play now already done? So, I'm so excited. This is the first time I'm gonna play my drum set. I can cannot connect the amp because I need a mini jack to mini jack. I know I have one, but it's somewhere, but it doesn't matter. I just wanna play this thing, so here we go. Probably, probably 25 years in the making. I finally own my, my first drum set. I always wanted this, man. You can't hear because uh, I'm gonna be wearing my headphones. But I think it's actually good because my drumming probably sucks at this stage. But keep tuned. We little by little will show in the progress. I don't know yet if it's gonna be like a vlog or like a documentary format. No, don't kill. <coughs> but well, let's see how it goes. Man, this is pretty cool. Isn't it? Like, it took, this might be the beginning 
or something great. Oh, I've been playing the wrong drum. What? I'm just talking to myself because you can select different type of drums. Yeah, and I was more like an 80s rock type of drum. No? Oh, this is more like a jazz, jazz drum. That's pretty cool. Man, this is great. This is absolutely great. I think I just found a new Sorry. hobby you, that I love. You love me. I didn't like you. This is gonna I be can't great. do it anymore. This is going to be great. So, I think this is exactly what I needed. A mix of physicality and music, you know? But so, This is going to be great. Come. Yeah. He liked it. I think we're into something here, people. You gotta let your kids try new things always, no, no box them up in, in the things that you feel comfortable about, you know? Make them do weird stuff too. How many people have a drum set in their house? Just try it, man. For hundred bucks. Come on, man.
This is day one. I'm loving this. Ah! I love it. Also, you remember when I was telling you guys before about how how you don't want anyone to touch your instrument. They they become they become kind of like a. Like flesh, you know. This is your. You, you don't want anyone to touch it. I mean, my family, you know, my kids, my wife, even friends, you know. But but that's what I mean. It's like a. It really, it's really worth it to to invest some money and get a new one. You know, if you if you're the type of person that I, that want to keep it, you know. A lot of people experiment with a lot of stuff, and I do as well. But to be honest, I also do a lot of research of the stuff that I want. So like, I probably spend 10 hours researching which model to get and I end up getting this one, the Roland TD1K V. The V is because it comes with this one instead of this one for the snare. This is called the snare, everybody. Uh, you've heard this before. You've heard this before. That's a snare. But to my point, I picked this model because it got this type of pedals, which is not. This is the the kick drum, we call bajo in español, and this one is for the and this one that is not the snare. I think it's a hit hat or something. So this is this one you kill it. If I let it all go. If I play, I can mute it. So. <coughs> I'm gonna try to keep this as pure as possible, but but I have to get influenced by this guy from Led Zeppelin. So I'm gonna look for it's solo, a solo or like a signature song for this uh, drummer, and and let's go, man, let's go, let's do this. I'm ready. This is so I'm playing for three hours in my garage and it's so therapeutic I feel that I release a lot of shit inside you know so get a drum people if you want to <coughs> well I've been playing for four hours and I can't stop it's way past midnight and uh, in the company of my beloved Canon 5D Mark III Please Canon sponsor me someday And This new baby, my new girlfriend The Roland TDK the, This Roland drum Next time I'll, I'll, I'll know the name, I promise So listen to this, this, is, this thing comes for free It's a beauty of a song
up, people? I just want to say that <coughs> I played till, till 3 in the morning last night and, and it's 9, 10 a.m. of Saturday and uh, I don't even want to go to Jiu Jitsu, I just want to keep playing, man. This is so fucking beautiful. Uh, also, it's such a such a great exercise, man. I fucking love it. So, I'm confused. The I'm confused.